What is going on, guys? So we're getting a balance patch on the 5th of December, which is coming up real soon. And I want to go over some changes that I personally would like to see in the game. I'm going to go over nerfs and buffs that I would like to see. We're going to start off with the nerfs, and we're going to just go in energy order right here. So starting with Werewolf by Night. This card has been just super duper strong ever since it's been released. You can see it mostly in like bounce kind of packages, maybe bounce like Loki decks. And uh, yeah, this card usually gets to like a 315, which is uh, not really the most fair card. I mean, it could be countered by Shadow King a little bit, depending on Pryo and Shang-Chi, sure. But really hard to deal with this guy. Way too good of a card, but honestly... I'm trying to be realistic here with what I think second dinner is going to do. And I can see it coming down to a 3-1 base stats, which I don't think is still going to solve the problem. But I would like to see it just come down in power to the 3-1 and then maybe we could reevaluate. And then that in conjunction with the other changes that I'm going to suggest, maybe will help out. All right, next up is everybody's favorite card, Loki. This card has been running rampant uh, as well, but for longer than Werewolf. Uh, ever since its release, it was a 3-4, now it's a 4-5 still really really good and i think that most of it stems from the minus one that it gives the cards so honestly i would like to see it become a four four and do no reduction on the cards that you get from your opponent you can still reduce them with quinjet and it's still going to be very powerful even if you don't get the reduction with quinjet it's still really good because of the collector interaction so yeah i think that would be fair i mean you could leave it at a four five with the just just get rid of the minus one another newly released card are you sensing a theme here? Do you see a theme? Um, another newly released card, Miss Marvel. I mean, it's a it's a 415. I mean, what are you? I don't know. It's I, I think it needs to come down to a 4-4. Four, four, and it needs to get plus 4. It's just way too good. It's a Doctor Doom on a stick. I don't know, bro. I know people are going to be like, it's a season pass card, though. I spent money on this. I don't care. We need a balanced game. If we let all these cards just get out of control, then... There's going to be so many unplayable cards, and we, d we just don't want that. I feel like Iron Lad is not really talked about too much, but whenever I see this card played, or whenever I play it myself, especially with Zabu in the deck, uh, this card just seems too good. And it's been that way for a, quite a while. Of course, when you high roll with it, uh, it's going to be too good regardless, but I think this card could totally come down to a 4-5, and nobody would really bat an eye. It would still be a playable card. It has too many stats for what it does. And last but not least on my nerfs right here, we have, of course, Eliath. I hate this card so much that I made a song about him, um, even though I play him in some of my decks. But still, he's only okay when I play him. Totally needs to change because Professor X into Eliath is just so dumb. If you lock down a lane and then you're just... It's literally leader 2.0. So, yeah, I think this card needs to get changed. And my suggestion for a change would be to make it a 6-7. Hold on. But only destroy one card that your opponent played on that location this turn gaining some stats but we're losing the all part which is a big part um i think the card's still gonna be strong at the six seven with the destroy one card but it just can't destroy everything man i don't know let me know down below what you think now going into the buffs i think that electra uh should get to a one two that's it i don't know i know i know they're not trying to like adjust these uh starting cards for like new players in the game but i think electra as a one two is maybe semi-playable it's just 1-1 one, one is just so bad nowadays. I just want to see cards that don't get played get become playable. Speaking of unplayable cards, that's very much everything on this list right here. Spider-Man 2099, I think uh, it's just so underwhelming. So I would honestly make this a 2-3 with the same effect. Like destroying one card nowadays is not even that great. Usually everybody's filling up the entire board. And like, if you have to, if you could only get this off at uh, turn four at the the minimum, like that's, they're going to have a lot of stuff on the board. And this is not, this is so not worth playing. So I think two, three is honestly fair. And it's probably going to be a decent card and move might actually have a chance. I don't know. And I just got this Rien Gonzalez variant for it. So like, come on. Next up is Crossbones. I think this card should just become a 4-9, just like Jessica Jones just became a 4-9. It's just like another one of those things for like Shang-Chi. Now that Shang-Chi hits 10, we can make cards like this into a 9, blah, blah, blah. And this is obviously never played in like any deck. Also, Drax in the same kind of principle could become a uh, plus 3, so it would become a 9 power at the end of that. Um, and I think that's totally fine. 
I would like to see Silver Samurai become a 4-6. These are just like really minor changes, but they could have a big impact if we just do a lot of them and just like make things slightly more playable, which is what we want. So I would like to see this card become a 4-6, especially since this is a Series 5 card. I thought this was Series 4, like, but you have to pay 6,000 tokens for this. Like, this card is so bad. So I think we just need to, to give it a little love. And along with the Silver Samurai change, I would like to see Stature get reverted back to the 5-7 that it used to be. So then maybe that package can do a little bit more, uh, just be a little more playable. I think since the power level of all the rest of the cards in the game are increasing, all the new cards that get released are, are getting more and more powerful. I think we gotta, we gotta give a little love to these other archetypes and cards. All right, hear me out. I think Kang should become a four cost. And yes, you would be able to play him with Zabu on three, sure. But this is a very interesting card. It's very unique. A lot of people don't like it because it just drags out the game. I understand that. But um, this is a big bad card. It's another Series 5 card. It's a big bad. And uh, it's just really, you, you don't play it in like any deck. And I think one of the reasons why you don't play it in a lot of decks is because uh, Kang is very good when you draw when you play him when you just drew him because otherwise if you play this card and it was already in your hand before this turn then you're just going to be down a card moving forward but if you play kang on the turn that you draw him then it basically thins out your deck because then he's gone and then you draw a different card so putting him to a four cost actually makes it so you can get that off more often where you actually draw the card and you can bluff more often with his ability a big thing about Kang is the ability to just like snap and then play him and get to undo the snap essentially. So sometimes you get to stay in for free, especially on the last turn. You could just stay in for free, play him on the board, and then if your opponent retreats, then you get the free win. It's actually a pretty powerful effect. Um, it's just five costs. It's, it really comes down to that thinning effect, I think. You could even maybe see him come down to a three, and that would be pretty interesting, but I think at least a four. I just want to see some kind of change to him, and of course the power doesn't matter, and you can't really change his effect without changing everything about him, so... I think that is the that is the way that I would want to see. I don't even know if I'm on board with this personally, but <laughs> I think uh, we should do something to this card. I'm, I'm thinking you could revert the effect, but make it a 5-6. How about a 5-6 right here with the old ability that moves all the cards that your opponent played on this turn, which is really strong. I think it's pretty strong. But I mean, nowadays in Marvel Snap, like I was saying before, a lot of boards are filled up. You're playing a lot of a lot of stuff. And uh, I don't think it will impact so... I don't think it will be a problem anymore. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. Let me know down below what you think about that. 5-6 with the old ability to move everything your opponent played this turn to this location. It's going to be good. Could be really good in junk decks as well. I just want to see cards played, bro. I just want to see playable cards. We don't want to run into a scenario where people are only putting the best cards in their deck. Like these few select best cards into their deck. And there's just no variety. And the last card on this list of buffs would be Heimdall. I think this card should become a 6-9. Not only because it's a funny number, but because it's just like the Shang-Chi argument again. Like, this is an underplayed card, and it will still dodge Shang-Chi at the 9 power. So, I think move could get a little love. This would be sweet. And, uh, yeah. A couple honorable mentions. America Chavez is actually... Uh, the devs have actually told us publicly that they are looking to change this card very soon. This is one of those cards that goes back to what I was just saying before, where it's like one of those cards that people play in a lot of their decks, and they can just jam into any deck, and just it instantly becomes more consistent. Uh, because you're not going to draw this till the last turn, so you're going to more likely draw your lower cost stuff first. And that can become a little toxic, and you just... Don't want people slotting in this card into every single deck is like a crutch and it's also a 6-9 it's decent stats um yeah i think it could use a change i have no idea what the heck they're going to change it to they apparently said it's going to be like a full rework so I'm not sure and then the last honorable mention is darkhawk i really hate this card personally i know a lot of people love it or at least they just play it but yeah this has been one of my most hated cards because like the whole darkhawk package is pretty toxic uh you just you play these cards like Korg and Rockslide that don't really have any downside um, with their stats. And they shuffle in these rocks and, and draw is really hard to come by in Marvel Snap. So if you waste your draw on drawing a rock, it's really strong for your opponent. And this Darkhawk, Darkhawk is just so strong, bro. 
it's just so strong you it, it takes like no setup uh now that black widow is also really playable like if you play the junk deck with the uh dark hawk package it's uh pretty frustrating but i don't think they're going to change this card because we have blob coming out which will actually counter dark hawk decks but otherwise i would like to see this change to a five cost come on and those are my suggestions for nerfs and buffs. Uh, please let me know down below in the comments what you think about my suggestions. If you have any card that you think should get nerfed or buffed as well. And uh, yeah, hoping for a good patch on the 5th because the game has been really uh, tough to enjoy for the past uh, few months now. And I think a lot of people are feeling it. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you like it, I hope you like the video. Hope you subscribe to the channel. I'm coming back with content. I say it all the time, but this time is for real. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. It's your boy. Peace.